I don't think she wants me to leave. Look at her. <laughs> they call me sassy when I'm strolling down the street. They call me classy when I'm serving just of us. It's still hot, but Hey guys, it's Zena. Welcome to my channel and if you are new, welcome. I make videos on food, lifestyle, and vlogs and random videos sprinkled in between because that's just how my brain works. And if you like that kind of vibe, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. So today we are starting off with me brainstorming what I'm going to be making for the week food wise. I figured since a lot of you guys have been asking the same question over the past few months, every single time I post my food content, what I make for meal prep when I make food stuff or obviously when I do my food videos that's not what I eat every day or for every meal that's just like once a week or whenever I feel like filming a video so I'm gonna bring you along the process of what goes on for meal prepping for the week so let's get into this first and foremost we got a little drink we're gonna try this and if you want to find out if this is good or not go follow my tiktok we'll see but, hi mamas hello <laughs> They all want to be on the camera today. Wow, this is new. Coda. <laughs> Coda. <laughs> he wants all the attention. But then he knows when the camera's on him and he always looks away. So we got a couple of things to do before we get started. I have to plan out and brainstorm what it is that I want for the week and type everything out on my phone because if not, I'm gonna get so sidetracked when I'm at the grocery store. First things first, let's just go with breakfast. I need eggs. Okay, relax, thank you. Nova. So I need eggs, tomatoes, uh, Mm, do we want avocados? Yeah, avocados, some Greek yogurt. I do still have some frozen pancakes left in the freezer, so I'm definitely gonna try to use that. I'm gonna need some more ingredients. Raspberries, and some heavy whipping cream. Can I help you? Are you getting hungry too? Are you trying to help me meal prep? <laughs> He's so sweet. I love these dogs. They're so cute. We have to figure out lunch and dinner. I'm not a really repetitive person even though I can do it and eat the same thing for every single meal if I really wanted to, but I don't want to this week. So I'm gonna do a base of rice and lentils and also some other different meats. Or maybe I can even do like a sushi bake because I had that last week and it was really good. Maybe I'll do some of that. I think that's a good start. What do I not have at home? I think I'm gonna get some, some grilled chicken, some mayo, if I can find QP mayo, even better because that QP mayo is just elite. I don't really like normal American mayo. I just think it's kind of gross. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to stick with normal mayo. Once it's mixed with hot sauce, like, yeah, can I taste the difference? But what am I gonna do? And I still have some peppers and onions at home, so I should be good. And we'll have ourselves a little meal. I'm the type of person that improvises a lot, so if I want something, I'm gonna just put that into my meal prep and make it fit in somewhere somehow. So yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's head to the grocery store and do some shopping. I don't think she wants wants me to leave. Look at her. <laughs> On our way to the grocery store because we love grocery shopping because it's food related. So my favorite place to shop recently has been Whole Foods, surprisingly, but we're gonna go to Whole Foods and also Target because those are only two places I can get what I need to get. And also you like my new camera bag. It's green and fuzzy. Ooh, look at all of these. This is a big one, but it's fine. Also gonna get one of these. Some avocados. These are the best tomatoes ever. This is the only place that I know that sells some micro arugula stuff, so we're definitely getting one. Every time I come here, I can't just not look at this section, but we're gonna get something. I don't know which one, but we're gonna get one of them.
this definitely wasn't on my list of to gets, but we're getting it. On to the next spot. Store number two. We gotta go in and out because I have meat and eggs in the car. Now that I'm home, I have to just drop off a couple of things because I had some more errands that I have to run out. So we're gonna get that done while I marinate the meat. Timing is everything. Meal prep is all about timing. So I'm just trying to get everything done that I need to get done. Making the best use out of the time that I have. I'm just gonna show you everything that I got from Target. We got so many different goodies. So we found these. These are some of my favorite snacks. Sometimes, you know, you just don't feel like eating healthy or whatever, but we got ourselves a little other option. We got grilled chicken breast strips, and then we have some burrata lemon zest and herb raviolis. This looks so fire. Imagine this with some pesto. Ooh, non-dairy ready whip made from almond milk. I've never seen this, which I'm excited to try. Some heavy whipping cream in case I didn't like that one. And then we got some fresh mozzarella pearls. These are one of my favorites. They come in like a little ball. I think I'm gonna pair it with the burrata lemon zest and herb with the pesto. We couldn't find any QP mayo, so we had to resort to Hellman's. It is what it is. We also scoped these, some Madeline's. These are some of my favorite snacks. I have to have one right now. I need one. It's not even a want. Look at her, she's so pretty. If I could share some with you right now, I would. We got some Chobani flips, cookies and cream, peanut butter cup, and the peanut butter dream. These are my three favorites so far. I've tried almost every single flavor, but I think these three are the best. Okay, so we have a couple things to do. We have to put all the eggs back in the crate and also marinate the meat. So that way I can head out. At least the eggs are two different colors, so I know which ones are the old ones and which ones are the new ones. And we have the bowl for marinating the meat. I have this sauce, bulgogi sauce, which I love to marinate my beef in. It is so good. It's one of my faves. I usually put like just this much on the bottom so I can coat the bottom. And then I'll just dump all the meat in. Oh no. Then I'll just pour an eyeball pretty much a little bit more just so it'll cover the meat that way it's all coated because I like mine spicy I like to add some cayenne pepper to it and some red pepper flakes Mix it around some more. And I always marinate in a glass bowl just because I feel like if it's in a plastic one, it just stains and I don't know, I feel like that's ick. Mm, 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 mm. The meat is in the fridge marinating and we can now go on our errands. Once I'm done with the errands, the meat should be marinated and ready to go. This prep is about to be lit. Like, y'all don't even understand. Just sit through and watch because just stay tuned. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I have to make the rice. If my mom was here, she's definitely gonna kill me. The rice cooker is the one and only way that you gotta make rice, without a doubt. Comes out perfect every time. Just eyeball it. Always put some quinoa in here too. And some lentils. 
This is what it looks like. While the rice is cooking, I always like to add some mixed vegetables in there so then that way I still eat my veggies because I don't really like greens like that sometimes unless it's cooked. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Look how good this looks. So this is what I'll have for breakfast and I'll finish the whole thing before I head out the door. In the meantime, I'm eating another one of these. Mmm. So good. This box is about to be gone. These are really good. Can't forget, I have to make the sauce for the boom boom shrimp too. So we're gonna do that now. Since we don't have sriracha and I can't find it anywhere, we're just gonna use some chili garlic sauce from the same brand, but I know it's not the same. We like our spicy. And because we have no QP mayo, sad day. We're just gonna use Hellman's. I really just like mayo, but it's the only way to make it. Having nails and doing this is not it. And there's literally no instructions, just eyeballing everything. And because I used my other half, I'm gonna use a new one. We're just gonna use half of her. While all of that is cooling down, we're also gonna make some tea for the week because I love my cold tea, my cold milk tea. And I always use jasmine green tea from Numi. This is the closest thing I could possibly find to something that tastes like something I would get in the city. So I just fill up my water boiler. I have one of these carrots and I put all the tea bags in here. And I'll just let it sit in here and let all the hot water do its thing until it's fully cooled down by itself. So that way all the flavor is infused into the water so they come in little packets i'll use two but once it's cooled down it goes into the fridge and it'll be ready for whenever i need to use it so almost everything is ready we're almost on our way to start plating everything so i have all my bowls set out and ready to be filled so here's the sauce for the shrimp that's almost done cooking and then you have the two bowls two bowls basically lunch dinner lunch dinner i'm gonna have some more bowls over here as well just there's more than enough food for another meal shake it all up oh my goodness this looks so good i want to try one of these so bad but i just know i'm gonna burn my mouth should we do it we're doing it okay that wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be it's still hot but it's just really good mm. look at this rice 
guys. Oh my goodness. She looks so good. There's veggies in it. It's healthy. It turned out just right. Put some fur cooking in here. I literally feel like every time I meal prep, I just snack on things. Mmm, this is so good. That Target grilled chicken, fire. Who would have known, right? Target? Mmm. So this is not a full week's worth of food. This is only breakfast for two days, and then you have three different days here. So I'll basically change it up and do whatever I'd like, but this is what it looks like. Not just that stuff. I also have a bunch of different snacks like yogurt and fruit. We always leave room for a little bit of goodies. So this is the final outcome. I am so excited to eat this. It is the burrato lemon zest and herb raviolis with chicken, pesto, and mozzarella balls with some cherry tomatoes and onion. My basic meal prep for the week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun being able to show you guys what I do on a week to week basis. And let me know if you guys want more of these videos. But I love you guys, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.